I'm going to be showing you how to use the RMS auto installer for CentOS. And I'm going to be using PuTTY, which is a SSH client, and WinSCP, which is a secure file transfer. And they're both free. Uh, they come with Windows installer versions and portable uh, versions. And to log in there, you're going to need your root SSH login credentials. You enter your IP address in this box right here, and by default, SSH port is 22. If your host has changed this port, make sure you uh, enter the right port that they've changed it to. And WinSCP, same thing, you put your IP address in here, your port and username and then the password I'm going to log in here with putty first and if you see something like this this is just uh, uh, something you normally see the first time you log in it's just because you haven't logged in before so nothing to worry about you just click yes I want to log in as a root and if you copy and paste your password, you just right click once in there and you won't see it. It's just hidden, so it's really there. So don't go around clicking two or three times. Just once will do it and then enter. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm going to log in with uh, WinSCP. Just paste my password in there. Same thing here. This is just a little warning you'll see the first time you ever log in. Just click update. You should be in the root folder here on the uh, right. These files on the right are what are located on your web server. The files on the left are the files on your computer. And I want to select install RMS CentOS. And you can either click the upload or right click and choose upload. Okay. Now you need to change the file permission to executable. You can either use WinSCP or Putty to do that. With WinSCP, you just right click on it, choose properties, and either make this 0755 or just click the X's and it'll change. Or you can use Putty and do chmod. 755 install dash rms dash sent os. It's doing the same thing either way. So if I refresh, you can see they changed over here. Whichever you prefer. And then once you've made it executable, you just do dot slash install rms sent os. Starts up. Now this is just a little splash screen saying uh, make sure you have enough memory, CPU power, and these ports are open. You have to type yes to continue. And this is CentOS 6.5 that I purposely uh, configured without wget. So you can see what will happen when one of the required uh, requirements aren't, aren't met, which it's going to check right now. You need AWK, grep, sed, and wget. If one of them aren't uh, found on your system, it'll tell you. And you have the option of choosing no to exit and installing it yourself, or choosing yes and it'll automatically install it for you. So in this case, I'm going to choose yes and it'll install wget for me automatically. And there it goes installing wget. And afterwards it'll continue to the next step, which is uh, checking to see if Java's on your system. If Java's not found, it'll automatically select yes to install it. If it is found, it'll automatically select no. And you're probably not going to have it unless you happen to have installed it in the past. The system doesn't have it. Okay, the first question is install RMS, yes or no? You obviously want to install it, but you could choose no to install uh, Java only. 
So I'm going to choose yes. Install RMS as a service. If you choose yes, it's going to add a, a startup script, which will automatically start RMS at if you reboot. And it's it'll also let you uh, from the SSH command line do service RMS start, service RMS stop. If you choose no, it's going to start RMS by means of the run daemon sh file like bunex does and it'll also add the startup path to rc.local automatically for you so either way it uh, starts at boot difference is with uh, installing it as a service you get the nifty service start stop restart and status so that's kind of a nifty feature if you're interested in that. I'm going to choose yes. Use automatic IP detection, yes or no. If you choose yes, it'll ask you for the eighth port, which by default is generally zero. If you want to manually enter your IP address, you can choose no and you'll be asked to enter the IP address. So I'm going to choose yes. And eighth port zero is default. It'll automatically attempt to detect it on that port. Now you need to enter at least one domain name uh, which are allowed to access your RMS and those are dolphin sites that can connect and so you need to enter at least one. I'll just make something up domain.com. If you have additional you can enter them here. Uh, there's room for up to five. Uh, if you don't have any you just press enter for none. Well, this is the location where you want RMS actually located on your server. Bunex uses opt slash raise server as an example. You can use that. You don't have to. Um, you can do a maximum of three folder directories deep, which would be like this. OPT media underscore server RMS that's three uh, maximum you can do two you can do one they don't exist it'll automatically create those folders for you so just make sure you choose a location that you really want uh, run RMS test will run a quick 15 second test to show you the output in the SSH command line window if you want to see that Enter yes, if not, no. And this is to set up a, a cron tab to automatically check RMS every five minutes to see if it's running. If it's not running, it'll automatically start it. If you choose no, you're not going to have a check at all. And it simply adds to etc slash cron tab. You can uh, edit and change that later if you want to uh, change the frequency or disable it. I'm going to choose yes because that's a pretty neat feature too. So we don't have Java installed, it automatically selected yes. And we have the option of choosing OpenJDK JRE or Oracle. If you choose OpenJDK JRE selection 1, it'll be automatic. If you want Oracle JRE for some reason, you have to uh, go to their site and download uh, their JRE package and then upload it to the same folder directory as this installer script is located and that's because I'm not allowed to distribute Oracle Java packages it's just part of their terms of service uh, once you upload it there it, it will be fully automatic but that part you have to do on your own uh, you can find out more information on which packages you should get on my website, which I'll be adding links to in here. Fast, easy, automatic install. Choose open JDK JRE. And here you want to review all these uh, selections you made. Make sure you build them out and pick the right ones. Make sure there's an IP address in here. Make sure. You spelled your domain or domains right. Your, uh, the location is really where you want it. And 
you just want to make sure you double check these because once you continue from here, this, that's what you get. If uh, something's not right, you spelled something wrong, there's no IP or something, uh, choose no and it will exit and you can rerun the installer and uh, again and hopefully take your time and make sure you fill them out right. But everything looks good in this case, I'm going to choose yes. And once I do that, it's going to attempt to retrieve the uh, RMS package, which is about 70 megabytes. And it can take a few seconds to do that. And I can't, it would let you know to try again later, but it got it fairly fast. And now it's installing OpenJDK JRE. Installing RMS now. Here's the 15 second test I was talking about. You just press any key to continue. This is the output. This is saying is you should see this line info launcher installer org 5 uh, somewhere up above. In this case it happens to be right here but it could show up up here or even up a little bit further. As long as you see that, that means everything started normal and is all good to go. You just press any key to continue. It's finishing install, starting RMS as a service that I selected. And there you go, it's done. Install complete. Now you uh, just go to your Dolphin administration, uh, modules, flash apps, settings. You check the use RMS box, enter the IP, and make sure these two ports are in there, and save the changes. And I can do that with, uh, I'll just show you the Punex demo, where you would enter that, and Dolphin 7.1. So you go to Modules, Flash Apps. On the side here, you would choose Settings, and you'd enter that IP address right there, which is right here, 104. Point whatever. You, you, you would paste your IP address or type it right in there. Make sure the use RMS is checked. RMS port 1935 and 5080, right there, just like it says. And then you just scroll down and save the changes. And then your your members can use audio video in uh, of the other modules, like video chat, audio video chat. So you can install modules, add and manage. And uh, once you do that, then they can use the audio video chat part of your website. So all that will only take a couple of minutes maximum and I'll just show you where that cron tab is that I added we'll restart RMS if it's down it's just etc cron tab and it's right here star slash five means to start or check it every five minutes if you want to disable it you just put a a number pound hashtag whatever you you refer to them as in front of it and save the changes. That will stop it completely. If you wanted to change it to a 10 minute check, you could just go like that. Um, when you're done, you can delete install RMS sent off from your system if you don't want it on there no more. And that's it. So you only need WinSCP for a couple minutes and PuTTY for a couple minutes. Anyway, that's how you use the RMS auto installer for CentOS. I also have a version available for Ubuntu. If you're interested, uh, check the links in this description or find it on my website, dialme.com. And thank you for watching.